Hello friends. So today what we're going to do is code out uh, Blackjack, the uh, card game, and we're going to use TDD and OOP uh, to get that done. Uh, so basically, Blackjack, you're trying to get 21, you get two cards, you're the user or the player, and the dealer is the computer, and you're both trying to get 21 without going over 21. Uh, basically, each we're going to have to build like three classes to make this. We'll have a hand class, a card class, and a deck class. The card class has suits and values, the ability to show, things like that. The deck hand will be made up of card objects, uh, and you'll be able to generate a deck, replace a, an old deck with a new deck, things like that. And then a hand will just be a couple of cards and a deck that you're dealing those from, that you're getting those from. So basically, we're gonna uh, write all of our tests, make them fail, make them pass, do a complete D TDD methodology. And uh, we'll start with the card class, and this should be several episodes long, uh, so I'll try to keep them moving fast because this, you know, it might be a rather fairly large project. So uh, the only thing I've made so far is a blackjack uh, directory with a card runner.rb, a card spec rb, and a card rb. I'll put my classes in the card.rb, my tests in the spec, and I'll run any code that I want in the runner to make sure that everything's functioning well. So let's start off with the spec and uh, we're gonna be using our spec as, as our testing framework. So uh, let's go ahead and require relative uh, and we'll get the card. You don't have to put the .rb extension. We'll go our spec dot describe, uh, what is it, card, do, and, and we'll write all of our tests in here. Now before we start, we're gonna need a card object in order to write our specs to, so let's do it before do, and we'll go, each card's gonna have a suit and a rank, so we'll go suit uh, equals, uh, we'll just save this as hearts for this card, and then uh, rank will be the eight of hearts. Okay. And then we'll just go at card, and we'll make that card object at card equals card.new. And we'll pass in the suit and the rank. So we'll have a card to work with. So the first thing that we're going to want to test for is that the card responds to the show, the suit, and the rank. So let's go. It uh, should respond. To suit and let's go ahead and copy that and write our other tests should respond to show and it should respond to rank now let's write our actual tests uh, um, expect at card uh, dot to respond to and that's suit, and then expect oops, at card dot to respond to uh, rank, and then we'll do the same thing for show. Okay, so before we run these tests, let's just go into our card class file, which is the card.rb file, and let's just set up the bare minimum. We'll make a class here, and then we'll set up an initializing method. I always spell it wrong. Uh, that's going to take a suit and a rank. Okay, so let's run our test. So our spec, uh, what was the name of that file? Card spec dot rb and I'm gonna use the dash dash color flag alright cool got a bunch everything everything got screwed uh, no it's not. oh I got I, I made a spelling error I'm moving too fast so here uh, da, 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 the scribble <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny 
Uh, that might work. It might not. There you go. Okay, cool. So uh, it should respond to shoot, should respond to rank, should respond to show. None of that passed. Cool. So let's make a pass. Uh, let's give access to all of these. ATTR, ACCS, and that's going to be for the suit, rank, and uh, show. Now we run this again. Cool. Three examples, zero failures. So we made our test pass, which is, that's the methodology that you want to use. So let's write some tests for uh, expectations that we have about if we call suit or show or whatever on the card. So um, it should return um, hearts for uh, suit. So in this particular card instance, it's the eight of hearts. So we expect um, if we call at card dot suit for that to equal EQ uh, hearts. Okay, let's run that. One failure, got nil. Okay, so let's fix that real quick. Uh, so in our suits and in our values, or our ranks rather, we're going to have to have um, some a set rule of suits and ranks that each card can have. So for the suits, it is going to be either a hearts or either hearts, spades, clubs, or uh, diamonds. Right? It's going to be one of those four. So and we'll go ahead, while we're doing this, we'll go ahead and do it for our rank as well. It should return, uh, what is our rank? Eight for rank. End. And let's just copy this. Come on down. And this should be eight. Should be card.rank. Cool. And also, while we're here, let's go ahead and write a test for the show. It should return true for show. And let's go um, expect card.show to equal true. So now we should have a bunch of tests failing. Cool. We got tests failing. Got nil when we wanted eight. Got true when we or we got nil when we wanted true, and we got nil when we wanted hearts. So let's start building this out, and making those passes. So we have our suits right here. Uh, in order to make the true pass, we can just go at uh, show, and we can initialize that to true. So it's always going to return true for right now. So we can run that test again, and you'll see that that passes now. Uh, we're only getting two failures. We're getting the should return hearts and should return eight. So we've got our suits here. We need values. So all the values are between one and ten and then eleven or one for an ace. So instead of writing all that out, uh, a little trick here. Uh, we can just go r equals a range of one to ten. Uh, to array, and then we can go r dot map and do the do end and go i i dot two s. And now we don't have to write all that out. We can just grab this, copy and paste it. Pretty cool. And then after those, we'll have uh, jack, queen, uh, king. Oops king and ace. Sweet. So we have our suits and values. Now, it, you might think that we should just go at suit equals the suit that's passed in and at value equals the value. Oh, what rank? Shit. Let's call those rank instead of value. Uh, I always 
forget if I call them ranks or value, I'll just call them ranks. So suits and ranks, suit rank, at rank. Okay, so you might think that this is what you're supposed to do, but what if you pass in, instead of a clubs, you pass in a club? It's, you want to have a check to make sure that all of the information is uniform. So we'll go, we'll write an if statement here. We'll go if suits dot include, uh, it includes that suit and values or ranks rather dot include the rank. So if that's true, then these two will be set. Uh, else we'll do at suit equals, see I have at rank, I really am screwing myself by getting confused about suit and rank, or about value and rank. At suit equals, and we'll just set it to unknown. And at value, or at rank, I keep doing that equals unknown. I bet that I've got value in a lot of my tests too. Oh crud. And we're not talking create, read, update, delete here. So we got rank here, rank. I, I think that I've got rank in all these instead of value. I don't know why I started putting value there. Okay, so we've got all this done. Let's see if our tests pass. Uh, get out of this real quick. Uh, let's see. It's uh, our spec. Uh, oh, what was it? Card spec. All right. Six examples, zero failures. Sweet. So we have, right now at this point, we have, you know, six tests passing. Uh, we started to build out, we started to initialize our card class. Got a lot more work to do, but this seems like a good stopping point for the first video. So um, just keep going. If you ha if you're confused by anything, just go back and rewatch this, and then I'll see you in the next video. Peace.